Two little girls walk up to a boy in a wheelchair and throw something at him. They are then laughing at them and the little boy's mother soon arrives and sends them away. She then apologizes to her son for being distracted and it affected and wiped him out. A little girl sees it in the distance and tells her mother that it was wrong. Unfortunately, there are many ruins around the world and many of them children have not been taught this. A little girl said she didn't like the kilo and a mother said it wasn't supposed to be that way. She then says she wants to leave and her mother asks why she wants to leave, because she was asking a lot to go there. The little girl then says that she doesn't like to see that kind of thing and leaves. Later, the little girl spots the boy and asks her mother to go talk to him. She then greets the boy's mother and asks her name. The woman then says their names to the little girl. She says their names were very beautiful. The little girl then says that she saw them earlier in the square and asks if she could play with the boy. The woman then thanks the little girl and says that her son would not be able to play like other children. The little girl then says she doesn't care and wants to be the boy's friend if the woman lets her. The woman then says that that was a very good deed by the and questioned if the common woman of the was her mother. She says yes and calls for her mother. The mother then greets and greets the woman and apologizes for her daughter as she enjoyed making friends. The woman then says that her daughter was very kind to want to be around her son, as children don't normally want to be around her son. The mother then says that she could not imagine why the children would not like a child as beautiful as the woman's son. She says her son couldn't run and had little movement in his body. She says that's why her son didn't talk much, so the kids don't like to be around him because of that. The little girl then asks when she could play with the boy and the woman says that she would have lunch with her son at that moment, but that she could come back soon to play with him, because she lived on that street. The little girl then asks her mother if she could go to the woman's house and the mother says yes and that she would take her there. The little girl then hugs the woman and says she would be back soon. Later, the woman opens her door and the little girl and her mother were there. They then go inside and the mother asks if the little girl could play with the little boy. The woman says yes and that she had made juice for them to drink. The woman then says that the little girl could play with her son while she and the little girl's mother would talk in the kitchen. The little girl then starts playing with the little boy. She then makes a paper airplane and says that the two of them would play with it. She then proceeds to throw the paper plane as the boy looks on. She then says that the two would play hide and seek. She says the little boy should count to three and she would hide. He then begins to count slowly and when he finishes, the little girl soon appears behind him. He then smiles and the two continue joking. The little girl then says she was going to show off something really cool her mom had. She goes to the kitchen and asks for her keys so she can show it to the boy. The woman then says that the little girl was very cute and that a child has never taken an interest in her son before. The mother then says that her daughter was a gift from God in her life and that she loved her very much. The little girl then goes back into the room and shows the caring her mother had for the little boy. He smiles and the little girl says there was a movie about the pet on the keychain. She says the two could see together someday. Later, the two mothers return to the room. The little girl then asks the woman if her son could go to the movies with her. The woman says that her son could not go to the cinema, as the cinema room was not adapted for him. She says she might come back someday to watch a movie at her house. The little girl then asks her mother to let her come back to see the movie. The mother says she could come back, she just needs to set a day for that to happen. She then says it was late and they need to go. 
She tells her daughter to say goodbye to the little boy so they can leave. The little girl then goes to the little boy and says that she would leave, but that she would be back soon. She says she was really happy that he got a friend. Days later, the two children are watching a movie together. The woman then tells the mother that she was very worried about her son. She says that he was very sick and that he was not getting better. She says she was scared. The mother then tells her to calm down and that whatever she needed, she could count on her as she would help her. The woman then thanks her and says that she has been a great friend to her. The two then go to the living room and ask if the two were enjoying the movie. The little girl says the movie was really cool and tells her mom to get the little boy's present. The woman is then surprised by that and the mother says that her daughter really wanted to buy something for the little boy, so that when he looks at the gift, he will remember her. The little girl then says that she was going to open the little boy's present and says that puppy was very cute. The little boy is then very happy with his gift. Sometime later, the woman is asking God to save her son, as he was everything in her life. She asks God not to take her son away from her and that she loved him very much. A doctor then arrives in the room and greets the woman. The woman says she wasn't well and asks if her son was getting better. She says that if her son couldn't get better, she wouldn't be able to live on her own. The doctor then says that they were doing all the necessary tests and giving the little boy all the medicine he needed. She says it was for the woman to calm down and tells her to have faith in God, because she couldn't tell if the boy would get better. The woman then becomes desperate and starts to cry. The little boy opens his eyes and calls for his mother. The woman is very happy to hear her son's voice. He then removes his mask and says he was very hungry. She then calls for the doctor and says that her condition has improved. The doctor soon appears and asks what had happened. The woman says that her son was doing better and that he was able to move his hands. The doctor then is surprised and says that it was a miracle. The little boy then tells his mother that he was hungry. The woman then says that she had prayed a lot for God to save her son and now she wanted to know when she could take him back to her home. The doctor says she needed to do some more tests to see if the little boy's health was good, but that soon they could leave the hospital. The woman is very happy and tells her son that they will leave soon. She says that now he could talk to the little girl again. The little girl tells her mother that she missed the little boy very much. The mother says she misses him too, but at that moment the woman appears with her son. The little boy then greets the little girl, which greatly surprises her. The mother then hugs the woman and says that God was very good. The little girl then tells them to go play and the little boy says he wanted to thank her for the present. She says that was so that every time he saw the present, he would remember her. She then takes the little boy out to play and the two mothers embrace. The two then start playing happily.